Dear Heavenly Father, may you teach us today. May your Holy Spirit guide us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Matthew 9, verse 18. While he spake these things unto them, behold, there came a certain ruler and worshipped him, saying, My daughter is even now dead, but come and lay thy hand upon her, and she shall live. Uh, Matthew 4, uh, 10 says, uh, Then Jesus saith unto him, Get thee hence, Satan, for it is written, Thou shalt worship the Lord thy God, and him only shalt thou serve. Uh, if we look, uh, this man comes down and bows down before Jesus. He worships him. Uh, if Jesus wasn't God, he wouldn't have accepted the worship. Uh, there are those groups that say Jesus uh, never uh, said he was God in the Bible. There's a lot of places that prove that Jesus was uh, his divinity. It proves his divinity that he is divine or that he is God. He accepts this worship. He doesn't say anything to stop this man. Uh, he had said that to Satan, uh, that uh, you should only worship the Lord thy God. And uh, it says it in Exodus 20, when we go through the Ten Commandments, that we should have no other gods before uh, God. So God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, these three are one. Now, uh, in Luke 8, uh, we do find uh, that this man, uh, he had a daughter. Uh, his name is Jairus. It talks through that in Luke 8, 41 and 42. Uh, she was about 12 years old, and it says she lay a dying. By the time Jesus gets there, uh, she is going to be dead. This is going to be a first example of Jesus raising someone from the dead, and that is very important because our hope is in Christ uh, that we too one day, though we be dead, yet we shall live, that we will be resurrected as uh, he resurrected himself when he rose from the cross. Um, the Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. If you're in Christ, uh, your soul will go to be with him, but one day he'll raise your uh, body up and give you a new incorruptible glorified body. Uh, verse 19, and Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his, his disciples. So he's following uh, Jairus. And behold, a woman which diseased with an issue of blood 12 years came behind him and touched the hem of his garment. Now, uh, this young girl was 12 years old who was dying and would die. Uh, this woman had an issue of blood for 12 years. But verse 21, for she said within herself, if I may but touch his garment, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort. Thy faith has made thee whole, and the woman was made whole from that hour. She reached out uh, to touch him. Uh, in our lives, we should want to uh, know Jesus. We should want to uh, in that sense, reach out and touch him and be made whole. But he's the one who has to do the healing. Uh, he's the one who has to save us from our sin. Verse 23, And when Jesus came into the ruler's house and saw the minstrels and the people making noise, he said unto them, Give place, for the maid is not dead, but sleepeth. And they laughed him to scorn. So they were already uh, kind of having the funeral and being... Uh, saddened uh, by the loss of this young girl. Uh, and then they laughed Jesus to scorn. Uh, so they ridiculed him for saying she, but she is asleep. Uh, now I do believe she was dead. I believe he's going to resurrect her here from the dead. Uh, verse 25, but when the people were put forth, he went in and took her by the hand and the maid arose and the fame thereof went abroad into all that land. Um, do understand our body is as if it's asleep to God, but if we are in Christ, uh, our spirit would go uh, to be with him. Uh, now, uh, we're just going to stop with that comment and keep going. Verse 27, and when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him crying, saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. Uh, Jesus is uh, the son of David. He's uh, the descendant of David. Yeah, David was promised that he would have a descendant upon the throne, and that is Jesus Christ, who would one day rule and reign, and he will rule and reign forever. Uh, he will come back and rule and reign physically for a thousand years on this earth, and when that thousand years is done, uh, Satan will be loosed from the pit after he's trapped in the pit for a thousand years, and then uh, Jesus will set up a new heavens and a new earth. But verse 28, and when he was come about, the blind men came to see him. Jesus said unto them, Believe that ye that I am able to do this. They said, Yea, Lord. Then he touched their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were opened, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, See that no man know it. But they, when they departed, spread abroad his fame in all that country. Oh, that we would spread the fame of Jesus Christ as they did, and not hold our tongue. We should be telling Jesus, or telling people about Jesus.